It's all collectible fans, flyguy4techsushi.com. Another G.I. Joe review time. I know it's an older figure, but I am catching up on this awesome wave. Uh, I, I should have picked it up the first time. I did see those on DorksideToys.com about a year, year and a half ago, or whenever it was that Renegades came out. And I did sit in the fence and think, I do this all the time. I'm the world's worst for like buying products. So you should just buy it and then sell it later. But uh, I didn't decide to buy this, so I went back and uh, picked this up. G.I. Joe Renegades Cobra Commander, the Cobra Leader. Again, I know I'm probably boring everybody, but if you haven't seen this animation, definitely check it out. Get the Blu-ray. It's just a stunning show. So here's a carded version of the figure. He looks awesome on this card. Really decent uh, uh, card. I just love the card design that they've got for these guys. Even down to the blister pack with this kind of uh, effect you can see in the front of that there. It's just really well designed, and I wish the uh, I wish they would bring it back. What a shame. On the back of the pack, you'll see all of the other figures there. We've pretty much reviewed all of them from the Renegade wave anyway. There's a lot of other figures there that aren't Renegades, but uh, they were part of this uh, wave at the time. Again, more great art. Uh, celebrating 30 years of uh, G.I. Joe's at the time when these came out, so that was mixed amongst some of the 30th anniversary waves. There's the uh, card, the cutout card on the back, and uh, I love the bit at the bottom. There's a lot of these figures from Hasbro. Some poses may require hand support. Always slightly dodgy. Um, so there we go. Uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, as if you're probably going to cut that card out unless you're buying multiples. It's still a great card. Love that figure on the card. Great design. Here's a loose one. Let's get a look at it. So it comes with quite a few accessories. And let's get one of them out of the way straight away. And that is a snake. Uh, A.K.A. One Cobra. So uh, there we go. A very detailed looking uh, Snake, we get all of these scales done there beautifully in plastic, and just a little bit of paint <coughs> up at the top of the uh, head on the cobra's head. But uh, yeah, if you watch the animation, you'll know exactly. Is that damn sight bigger than this? Let me tell you. Uh, but a, a nice accessory to have, it nonetheless. That is the cobra. He also comes with a swappable head. Now for the entire, pretty much the entire G.I. Joe Renegade season, we get to have this Cobra Commander head, which is completely silver. Uh, there's nothing we can see apart from a little bit of white flesh at the back there and that uh, strap holding that on. So you've got a swappable head to display it that way. Uh, as the season goes on, we eventually get to see him like this. And he actually looks very tame there, uh, but he's a badass piece of work in the uh, TV show. So... Uh, he just looks very calm in that baby's eyebrow needs to be a little bit more fierce, I guess. But that head is obviously swappable with the one that you get in the box. So he also comes with these, whoops, Cobra Cane. It's popping off there. And again, it's just a pretty common thing, I guess, for uh, Cobra Commander figures. But it's, uh, that's, yeah, that's it, really. Nicely detailed, no extra paint on it, but... Uh, Goods nonetheless, absolute pain in the ass for him to hold, it falls out his hand all the time. He does come with one other other other, other accessory, and that is his little almost Luger-like uh, weapon. There we go. All one colour, just a kind of flat silverish plastic. Not a great detail going on. And it looks like there's a holster there on the side of his uh, uh, jacket there, but unfortunately you can't put anything in it, which is a bit of a shame. I'd love to put that holster in there for the uh, the weapon because it falls out his hand quite a lot as well it doesn't hold it too well but a pretty decent figure uh, he has plenty of articulation we'll talk about in just a second he also comes with these Cobra Commander stands let me take that off and uh, not really one for me these stands but that's still nice nonetheless and really the detail on him is very simple let me just get that focused a little bit more there we go very simple, blue jacket, a little bit of gold paint on the uh, buttons there, on the belt. You've got a little bit of red on the sleeve, which is nice trim. He's got a standard G.I. Joe peg hole on the back, and he's got nothing to put on his back. But it's, it's very accurate to the um, cartoon. And that's pretty much the figure. But uh, one I'm very glad to get, just again for that carded piece to go with the rest of my Renegades collection. And uh, hats off again to uh, Lucas Claude of Chad Hitchcock, I should say, on YouTube. Uh, I must put a link to his uh, channel. 
he was the guy really I watched a lot of his reviews over the years of G.I. Joe's and helped me uh, come to the dark side of collecting more so thanks again Chad for your great reviews and all your customs he's got stunning customs he's joined us on uh, Born Conversation anyway we've been on his show he does a great podcast far more regular than we do so definitely check him out I must I must put a link underneath and um, that's pretty much this figure articulation we get a ball jointed head although you can't move it too much with that high collar that he's got on his uh, jacket ball joint with a hinge you can see at the shoulder and elbow and swivel wrists not a great deal of movement in there but uh, they do swivel got a swivel waist and even though we've got this uh, flap of course it's always about the flaps we do get uh, super articulated legs you can just see it's that standard pin that's in there and you get double joints on the knees and we do get uh, ball jointed ankles so full on articulation for Cobra Commander he is a one badass figure so strongly recommend you get him if you can there's still plenty of these online as I say unfortunately I, I missed the boat at uh, toys.com. they do have some renegades still kicking around so uh, definitely check them out, we'll put a link underneath, you can uh, head along there and see if you can get uh, some of these guys. But uh, definitely Cobra Commander has gone, so... Uh, and I'm just loving them. Card art, great figures, uh, it's a line I should have picked up. I'm a dumbass, what's new? But uh, let me know what you think overall, we'd love to know, give it a thumbs up or a thumbs down, it tells us exactly what you think. And um, we uh, shall uh, be having lots more G.I. Joe reviews for you. A couple more Renegades still to come up as well to complete the set uh, for me. Uh, but otherwise, you can join us. Uh, I'm sure you know the drill. But uh, we have a G.I. Joe community on uh, Google+. Plus. You can also find us on Google+, Plus under TechSushi. We're also on Facebook, facebook.com slash TechSushi. And on twitter.com slash TechSushi. If you like the video, as I said, give it a thumbs, up, thumbs down or subscribe. And we shall see you for more G.I. Joe Renegades coming up soon. Ta!